Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, we got a bit of news earlier than I thought we would, because we haven't even got the free-to-play gear teaser yet, which I assume will probably come in the next couple days. But, you know, as of right now, there's nothing really new in the news. We've got, you know, Jubilee still going on. That's pretty much the content for the rest of the meta. We know that the meta will leave on the 26th because that is the day that part one of the commander banner leaves, as you can see, to 2259 on the 26th. But on the Twitterverse, we do have a live stream announcement. So this says broadcast starts from 8 p.m. on Wednesday, June 26th. That is Japan time, which means it will be 4 a.m. For me in Pacific time, and the guest will be Rimaru's VA. So, what does that tell us? Well, not not a lot. Generally, the VA corresponds to units that are incoming into the meta, and if I don't really know what to tell you except that Rimaru is currently not in the commander meta, so Probably a rather large indication that we're going to get a Rimuru next meta. Uh, a lot of the time, I, and actually, they, they kind of switch off between the free-to-play unit and the, the summonable units for this. But, you know, it, I don't foresee us getting a free-to-play Rimuru in an EX meta at this point. It's just, it's not how it's going to work. <laughs> They'll reserve free-to-play units for, like, the... The not so hype characters, not the main character. So I would assume that Rimuru is going to be either the protector or the summonable battle unit that comes along with part one of the banner. But if we click on this link, it tells us that this goes live in five days, June 26th at 4 a.m. Pacific time for me. Uh, we also can see that it's going to be a triple stream again. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see right here between the anime, our game, and then the new upcoming console game, Isekai Chronicles. Uh, which is a side-scroller slack, hack-and-slasher-ish? I, I don't really know what to classify it other than side-scroller. Um, so what this means is that it's going to be an hour-long live stream, and about 40 minutes is going to be about the anime, 10 minutes for us, and 10 minutes for the other game. So I can't, I can't wait to wake up at 4 a.m. and watch that. But moving on... What could we potentially see out of this? If we take a look at the spreadsheet, this is what we've got so far. And looking back in this kind of time slot last year, we actually got the Konosuba meta. The Konosuba collab, which only lasted for two weeks, and then it made the Summer Memories meta last for pretty much a month and a half. So... Uh, I don't foresee us getting a collab. If it was going to be a collab, it would probably be like a collab and it'd be some kind of extra special VA. So I really, really don't think it's going to be another collab, which means that there's this kind of weird slot where this doesn't exist and the first half of Summer Memories technically wouldn't exist. So are we going to get, you know, the bikini meta a bit early? Are they going to push it for the actual August to September slot? Uh, I don't really know, quite honestly. Uh, if we look back even further, so we go from June into July, it was the wind meta. Sorry, uh, hold on. May, June, no. No, yeah, it's it's the wind meta. So this was like the test of courage, kind of scary, spooky theme going on that they did. That People were like, it's Halloween, but it's in June or in July. It's like, it's the test of courage stuff that happens in Japan. Halloween last year was actually Halloween. So it was the wielder of magic right here. And they were actually dressed up as Halloween characters. So could they do another test of courage Rimuru? Because, you know, Rimuru during this test of courage meta was not there. So the likelihood of us getting another test of courage kind of scary spooky meta with a Rimuru I would say is not zero. On the other hand, we are still in the middle of Season 3. We've had a lot of units kind of come forth and present themselves. I think we're back into a little bit of a slow period for Slime. While they do more plot and world building, I think the action part is kind of done for now. 
Don't quote me on that. I don't read the manga or light novels. I could be talking out my ass right now. But the point of it is, we have a lot of Season 3 characters that I think would get representation in this game and probably should get some kind of representation. And it would make sense if they just kind of follow the commander meta where they brought in, you know, the new Spirit Armor Hanada. We got new Renard. Uh, Shizu is kind of a weird pick. Uh, Diablo, because he made an impact. If they were to follow it up with another meta that was not commander-based, but more Holy Knight-based, like, there's a lot of other Holy Knights, right? They can get, and they probably will and should get new characters, or just first-time characters. If they were to build upon that, I, I think now would be the time, right? Especially as we're transitioning between the, the spring and summer seasons of anime, uh, now would be a good time to push that, because we're kind of in a in a weird dead spot for stuff. You know, October is the anniversary and it's currently June, almost July, so not a lot of time, but it does mean that people should now be looking to save their crystals for the upcoming third anniversary. And I know, it, you know, it, it's a long way away and gotcha players hate being told to wait and not to spend their hard-earned crystals, but legitimately you should. You really, really should. And not even for, like, the, the half banner, right? That happens in late September into October. Not even for this, which is always branded as the part one. Just like uh, this year, Blanc and Jean were labeled part one of the two and a half Annie. I wouldn't worry about this meta. I wouldn't worry about this meta. I would worry about the meta that actually comes out at the end of October. And that's what people should be aiming for. And that's the next, I think, big time banner that people should be saving the crystals because Lumi and Violet are still heavily used to this day. Rimuru does have utility and he can be used to some effect uh, with his re with his rainbow orbs. Blanc is Blanc. Jean is a very good DPS and support unit. Like she was a top tier support for the Primal Demon meta because of that 170% alt buff, the space resistance down. She had value. All anniversary characters have value in some way, shape, or form. The Shizu and Hana, Shizu, not not really. Hinata has definitely left an impact as well, so it's up to you. But in between that, like, Konosuba was cool. Summer Memories, looking back on it, is not super great. Um, Hinata, you know, I think is the the most used support unit and that's only because of a triple orb steal summer millum still rocks valor cup and that's great uh and then we had vengeance which was fairly difficult to judge until it actually came out and we got our hands on it so defense meta we have not had a defense meta in a while we've had a blue stacking meta we've had a green burst meta we had another blue stacking meta and we had a blue burst meta so i think we've run its course on blue orbs for a while I think they could always do something dumb, right? Because they did do two back-to-back -back blue pierce metas. Stranger things have happened. And then we had a stacking green. I would love another stacking green meta that would, you know, give us an equivalent of Overlord Shizu. That way people could actually get her and she wouldn't be locked behind the I'm never coming back because I'm a collab character. That would be pretty cool. I would love, maybe not right stat now because we're coming off of a stacking meta, but a stacking green you know, put forth, because if you don't have the Overlord collab, you're back to the first anniversary. And it's kind of far away now. But I think most people should now be saving their crystals for the upcoming third anniversary, late October, unless something truly godly comes out. Like, something that clears everything in the game. I really don't see an issue with just telling people to save and be smart, especially if you have the commander team that can clear most content. If you have the exalted champions team that can clear most content, like at that point, you're summoning just to summon. And I don't know if it's actually helping your box at all. So, but you know, that that's my humble opinion right there. Again, we have five days to go until this is live. This will drop at 4 a.m. on Wednesday? Wednesday, and then the banner and all the new content will drop, what, 15 hours later or something? At 7 p.m. on the 26th for me, or whatever time that equates to you and whatever time zone you happen to live in. But it will be a quote-unquote same-day release for me as the live stream. 
So we don't have, you know, a whole day to mull over the, the kits and think about what's going to happen. It's going to be live stream, work, and then my stream for the content drop in the summons. So let me know what you think is going to come from this meta. Do you think it's going to be a test of courage? Do you think it's going to be another blue meta, stacking meta, green stacking meta, green burst? Like, let me know what you want it to be more than what you think it's going to be. Because I'd like to know what people are really ain't like hankering for as far as kits are concerned. But let me know. That's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.